Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's subject was what is cheating? Why do people cheat? <laughs> and how do we heal it? So I promised to bring some perspectives and perceptions into life. And uh, I'm sorry, but I found it kind of funny because uh, as I, when I look at something, I, uh, I, it's like you see these little pieces of papers or, or sayings and then they just stream in. So one of them that I thought that was funny, of course it's not funny, but anyway, it was uh, a saying from a, a perception saying that the world, <laughs> many continents of the world is overpopulated with women. So therefore the male need to uh, need to be with more women in order of recreating balance. Yep. <laughs> so now that we broke the ice, uh, cheating is, well, it is a subject that for many people creates a lot of emotional disturbance because everybody have an opinion upon it. Everybody have a, um, a perception of what it means. And it was really cool. I read what some of you guys have uh, wrote in there. And you are right. Cheating is not only something you do towards another person. It's something you do towards yourself. Um, and cheating is not only a physical act. But it can also be looked at from a different perception. So <laughs> where do we start? One perception of cheating is that your wife or husband or whoever you are together with in a relationship, you have certain rules that you choose to only be together. One of you goes behind the other one's back and are together with somebody else. That's one perception of cheating. So in that act, what is actually released is a lot of emotional disturbance during that moment, but also building up to what's it. And what we can look into is also always we can look into the reason underneath or behind it. And it's always if someone is dishonest to oneself, you are sort of kind of already cheating on yourself. It can be the lack of love, something you haven't fulfilled inside of yourself. It can be a, a search for or a need to feel something inside that you are not able to recreate at your home. And you are not able to talk about it or maybe even realize what you truly need so what people does <laughs> is that they are searching that that something within themselves outside of themselves and therefore uh, leads into certain situations that can trigger that feeling that they are thinking that they are lacking hmm? <laughs> But it's a little bit like peeing your pants, you know, in the beginning it's super hot and really, really warm. So if you're cold, it's cool. But then eventually the pee gets super cold and then there's all the after effect there. It's not so nice. So um, cheating in a different perception is this, like I started with saying, is that we are cheating upon ourselves. I mentioned this in the video about world peace, that we can create war, which is easy to see, like the Vikings, or we can do it subconsciously, very sneaky, through medication or chemtrails and stuff like that. So basically, <laughs> basically, you can do the same with cheating. So you can cheat in a form where you are dishonest to yourself and your partner, because you are staying in a relationship where you are not able to fully be yourself uh, or, or you choose to commit to something but for different reasons than the love 
So that means that on a daily basis, you are sort of kind of neglecting a part of yourself and also in that perception lying to what's your partner. <laughs> we could call that the, the sneaky one. Because what it does, it creates a lot of disturbance. It creates a lot of distrust and disbelief and uh, sadness. Um, so it act, the act itself is when when one search something outside of oneself and search out or and are physical together with someone else. It can be of different reasons, but often it is. Um, it is an act which is done in a lack of our awareness because we are searching something and hope to find it outside of ourselves. I did repeat myself a lot. So we know this part, right? We know this part and we can be really angry at the person who searched whatever outside of themselves, blah, blah, blah. But we can also shift the perception we can shift it to understand this other person to understand that this person might um, some sometimes cheating can also just be that you are in something which is no longer a vibrational image and you search out and you need something to trigger you in order of you to leave and as you are not strong enough to do that on your own the universe magically sent you something which attracts you so hard that there's no other way than acknowledge that you're feeling something so deep that you can no longer stay where you're staying. We see this often with people who are um, in a relationship for a long time and all of a sudden, boom, from one day to another, they move in with another person, head over heels in love. And funny enough, that relationship lasts. So the truth is, and then of course we have the perceptions of, and this is funny. So my mom, she raised me with, you don't cheat on anyone and you always tell the truth. So always be honest. And if you as much as think about another person, <laughs> you break up. Before you do anything else. So you can imagine me growing up. That was my. That's, that was my. How I looked at it. And I look at it like that. Very strongly. Like that was my perception. I. Uh, <laughs> like. I, I barely was in relationships. Because I love everyone. Not physically attracted to everyone. But in my perception. The hard feeling is what counts. You know. So. Uh, I would maybe say that I would break up pretty easy. Um, as I grow older and I, I, was in a, I, I was in a relationship that was very damaging. This person uh, and I... Um, uh, I <laughs> he, he was very controlling and, and very jealous. And uh, it does something to a person when you submit to that. So... I started to actually believe that there was something wrong with me and I started to be so frightened that I was cheating on another person just by looking at another man with my eyes when I walked past him on the street. Oh my God. <laughs> so, so my whole concept of this free open mind got so narrowed and, and controlled by fear and jealousy even long after uh, we separated. I was still, I still had trace of fear of looking at inside another person's eyes because a part of me thought that I was cheating, <laughs> even that I was not in a relationship. So it's funny how your subconscious mind is working constantly and how these uh, emotional patterns within you are taking over. So then I had a lot of friends who who told me how they live their lives. I saw a lot of different sides of sexuality. <laughs> and there are these people who have a lot of sexual partners and more or less are okay with it because it's like an agreement for them. So in that case, you can't really cheat because it's, it's allowed. 
and what I found of value within that, which there was not in the other one, was the honesty. It was that they could communicate openly about how they felt, what their desires was, what they needed to <laughs> express or etc. Of course, this group also have a lot of suppressions and there's a lot of disadvantages with this kind of settlements, but it always depends on which perceptions you have, how you perceive love and what love is and means to you, either that it's physically or non-physically. So, ah, long story short, then... Um, then a year ago I I went into a, well my longest relationship ever <laughs> and uh, what I decided from the start is just honesty 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 and and my subconscious mind wanted to somehow Mm, separate me from this relationship because a part of me was afraid of it right so in my dreams I would literally dream I was together with other people so next morning I felt super bad I felt like I was cheating <laughs> but you can't control your dreams so I thought okay just tell him <laughs> so so the, this whole concept of what cheating means and to narrow it down is that I truly believe that you need to figure out with yourself where you are standing. You need to figure out with yourself what your perception is and how you wish to be in life. What you wish to meet the other way back. And I strongly believe that the most important thing beyond everything is honesty and openness. So... If you are in a relationship, for whatever reason, just be honest to each other. If you, if you feel that you cannot be open or honest to the person you are together with, then there is a part of you that you are neglecting or a part of you you're not fully allowing yourself to express. And at that moment, that very moment, you're cheating upon yourself. So, I don't even remember which perception I started with. I hope this didn't get too <laughs> for you guys because there is so many perceptions. But another thing is that when we get stuck in all this emotional pain of cheating or whatever, we need to work our way through it. We can do it in three ways. So the first first way is we look inside. We look we look. At the relationship together. So how are we together? The love that we feel from our heart. How is the dynamic? Are we, are we truly unmatched? Or have I been lying to myself for whatever reason? Number two. Of course never blame yourself. This is not where we are. Love yourself. Love yourself enough to think. Well honestly. If this person believed that this person belonged with somebody else than me. It wasn't for me anyway. So I am glad and thankful that it showed itself now instead of later. So you actively acknowledging that you belong in something that suits you better and you're letting it go. Um, third part is you can, in order of setting yourself free, you need to learn to forgive the other person. So you look into this other person um, and understand what this other person comes from. Understand where this other person's uh, consciousness are, subconscious are, and and how this person are reacting or or not what this person are searching or haven't found within. Um, for example. <laughs> this a uh, long time ago relationship i i i was uh, completely broken down afterwards for a longer period and what i did was i um I, I of course i was angry everybody gets angry and i was sad so all these emotions go through it don't deny it 
But when you go to the part where you need to forgive, you change perception into understand the other person, understand where he comes from, understand where he is and what he's seeking. And look at yourself. If you are able to fulfill that role and if you are truly yourself by standing there. And the truth is, or it was for me anyway, is that I, it was not my role to take. And what he was searching was not, a, there was no person that could give that to him. It was something that he needed to find inside of himself. When we are, okay, point two, <laughs> change, new perception. Look at it from above. Sexuality is many things. There is this primal thing within the hormones that uh, males send one thing out and think they have to, um, how do you say this in words, create kids. And, and females send this other thing out and they have this urge to get pregnant, basically. But then there's this disturbance inside of the force where we don't really know what, what is and why it is. This is the primal thing. Some people look at it and look bad on it, look down on it. But it's not bad, it's naturally. It's a part of our nature, it's part of our creation, the human body. And it's beautiful. What is not beautiful is when it's out of alignment, then it becomes a struggle. What is also not beautiful is when it becomes an ego game. So this is going to be another video. We're going to make a video about sexuality when it is uh, in alignment and when it becomes an ego gay of non-fulfillment. Uh, was there other perception I needed to bring inside of this? Every single thing that happens in your life is a blessing and a lesson. Listen, I know that it hurts in the moment where you feel that you've been cheating on. Um, but these situation brings so much with it. If you allow yourself to see it as a lesson and you truly allow yourself to love yourself enough to let it go. The different perception is people who cheat, come together, cheat, come together and stay together. So <laughs> we are just humans trying to understand what human life is. And how to navigate here in this time space reality and within our own beings, how we are growing. Some people are just not, they just haven't found themselves yet. So what they do is they are, I, I started with saying this. So they go trying to find themselves and then they come back, realize they made a stupid mistake, that they belong here, blah, blah, blah. And then you, you, um, you choose to take part in that dynamic and for some people this works because their connection might be strong um, but they are unstable within themselves and therefore they are searching different pathways to find their way back to the center within themselves so why did i make a 20 minutes long video about cheating <laughs> and, and why did I say so much that I don't remember what I've been saying and so many perceptions so what's important to say is in a world where we try to find peace it is important that we don't, don't gener generalize, generalize? That we don't <laughs> judge everything as if it is the same. We need to know that every single situation is different. Every single relationship is different. We have some main guidelines that we can follow. But we can never judge another person before we truly allow ourselves to look at it from the other person's perception. We should not blame ourselves or stay in something that doesn't feel good. Um, or, and I don't mean that, of course, it's not nice when one person hurt another, but this, 
this video is to to help you to see through your pain to help you to look through your hurt to understand that there is a life on the other side of whatever might have happened to you and it is an opportunity for growth and it is an opportunity for you to re look at yourself review yourself and find yourself in a new way a new perception learn to set boundaries learn to maybe connect with love in a different form different way or search a different kind of partner so i hope this was not too chaotic <laughs> and i hope that you guys can use it for something along your journey um yeah the essence of this whole thing is <laughs> forgive yourself look from the perception in order of forgiving the other person enough to be able to let it go and be honest be honest 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 if you can talk honestly about everything with your partner there is no space for cheating because why should you so that was it and let me know if you know some of these stories some of these stories resonating with something within you and just find your personal way through this namaste